Hej, jeg er blevet Tomlev, hvor jeg er en masterstudent og bor i USA. Jeg bor i en af kakkerne, hvor jeg bor i en langkari, Sri Lanka. Hvorfor er jeg en af dem færdig, den rødde fra Nostrid? Hvor er jeg en af dem, hvor jeg bor i en af kakkerne, hvor jeg bor i en af kakkerne. Ciao, jeg er Federica, jeg er en af dem. Jeg er en af dem, og jeg er en af dem. Hej, jeg er en af dem, og jeg er en af dem. Hej, jeg er en af dem, og jeg er en af dem. Mama Sri Lanka min. Konnichiwa, Kei desu. Nihon mo Osaka umane sodachi desu. Hi, I'm Kara. I was born in Dublin, grew up in Ireland and England. I was born and raised in Norway, in Badu. I did my bachelor's abroad. I came back to Norway to do my master's here. And I also worked the police. So I have some experience from there. That's pretty much me. My bachelor's degree was uh, classical languages. Most people ask why I did classical languages. It was basically about Greek and Roman study. I got a scholarship to come here, so I'm studying human rights now. Yeah, here yeah, I'm enjoying human rights. Hi again. My name is Khaled Badif. I am from Gaza, Palestine. My background was English language and literature. I studied English language and literature by a chance, but then I developed passion for it. I live with literature and arts. Then I came to Norway to study human rights and multiculturalism. So yeah, here I am. Uh, I have my bachelor's in uh, political science uh, from the University of Fedat in Sri Lanka. Then I selected um, for the University of Southeastern Norway for doing my uh, master's in human rights and multiculturalism. Hi, my name is Federica. I'm from Italy. My background is in educational science. Graduated during COVID. And then I decided to come to Norway to study human rights and multiculturalism. I have many passions, especially relating to art field. I like, for example, to take photos, paint. And I discovered here a new passion to like interview people. <laughs> my name is... Uh... Yekaterina, but I'm just Kate. We are from Kazakhstan. My bachelor is uh, English language. Multiculturalism is something that follows me the whole of my life. So I'm Eleni. I am half Greek, half Norwegian. I was born in Norway. I have a bachelor's in international relations. My interests are photography and currently I'm into embroidery. I'm not very good at it, but that's it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pumani. I am from Sri Lanka. I come from a legal and an international relations background. Before coming to Norway, I was working in Sri Lanka as academic. I'm generally interested in things like reading, art, embroidery. In my free time, I also do a podcast, things like that. Hi, I'm Kay. I was born and raised mostly in Japan my whole life. I studied international relations, but then I switched to more of a normative study. I uh, gender studied feminism or more of a minority studies. Hi, my name is Cara. My educational background is medicine. I did three years of a six-year medical degree and then left and moved to New Zealand to become a snowboard instructor. I will be basically snowboarding. I've taught in New Zealand, Japan, Canada, and now here in Norway. Okay, why Norway? Human rights in Norway is kind of a dream for most of the Sri Lankans because the most influential human rights defenders are from Norway. I thought Norway would be a good opportunity to learn uh, human rights. For a person who left in Gaza for all of his life, he never traveled. I never seen any place outside Gaza. I have applied for so many scholarships. The one that worked out was Norway. It wasn't specifically that I wanted to come to Norway, but then this is life and this is how chances work. And I'm really glad that I came to Norway. I've selected the University of Southeastern Norway as my university has a partnership uh, with this university. Uh, I was given this opportunity to doing this master's. Um, okay, basically graduated uh, in my bachelor during COVID. And so like I was, I wouldn't say desperate, but I was very much like willing to have new experiences, especially abroad. And so I started to research for master's programs, uh, especially in the northern part of Europe, because a couple of years back, I done an Erasmus experience in Denmark, which I really enjoyed and liked. Um, so I started to apply to many different master's programs in the north part of Europe. And I got in here and I was very excited to start this new experience. No, it was our dream. And it was a really, really long journey to, to be here. It was just a dream that comes true. When I grew up in Greece, since I am half Norwegian, I always wanted to move here to explore this part of my identity as well. That's why I moved here. A master was a good excuse to start. Yes, I was always interested in Scandinavia because it, in my part of the world, it's always looked up to as great places to live. I received a scholarship to study in Norway. So here I am. 
I didn't really choose specifically Norway for studying human rights. First, I just wanted to study human rights in English outside of Japan. So I googled, where can I study human rights in English? outside Japan on USN, I showed up. So I chose Norway because I needed somewhere with beautiful outdoors, snow. I can't live anywhere without snow now. I once came on a hiking trip to Norway. I just thought it was incredible. So I chose human rights because when I was living in Canada, I kind of discovered a lot more about indigenous rights. I found that really interesting. I thought Norway would be a nice place to do it. I was lucky enough to be around people that didn't really see me as different from them. I grew up with a lot of ethnic Norwegians, but they never made me feel different. They never told me that I was different or made me feel less than them. So I think overall I had a good experience. That's the best part of this study program. So many friends from all over the world. We have different cultures, especially our food culture. Get together and enjoy our different food cultures from all over. I think my experience is different from everyone else. Uh, just the fact that I'm coming to a different place. I came out from Gaza, a place like a prison, and then came to Norway, one of the best places in the world. I think I left very strong cultural shock, but I integrated and I managed. I'm very glad and grateful for the people I met in my class from different backgrounds that helped me so much to integrate and that helped me so much to grow. I got a very good experience. I was able to understand many different cultures and make uh, friendships with uh, many new friends from the different uh, parts of the world. That was a very uh, good experience. I'm so happy about that. For me, if I have to be honest, I think that I had a, a very like rapid integration process in the sense that I really wanted to have new experiences and I really wanted to like live in uh, another place and met new people. So for me, integrating was very easy because I was very much like I needed that. My integration process, I would say that it went very fluid and with no problems. I can say it was easy. Yeah. Very amazing experience to so be with uh, people from different countries all over the world to know their knowledge and uh, traditions. So it was really exciting and interesting. It has been uh, different. It has been interesting because I grew up in Greece. I was living here when I was very young and I've only come here for holidays. So when I've moved here back here after five years almost since I lived here, I'm not from this part of Norway. Drummond was new for me. It was very weird and interesting at the same time because in other language, it was maybe more common for me than other people who came here. I don't know. You should ask my friends about this. I'm, I still am very much the person I am back home as well. The difference is that the way I dress, maybe the way I speak and where I eat have changed a little bit, but I don't think other than that, a lot has changed in adapting to Norway. Oh, except I have adapted to the cold, extreme cold. <laughs> yeah, it was fairly easy. It was amazing. Yeah, it was super easy. Before coming here, it's lovely fat. Uh, she followed me on Instagram. So it was the first person I met here. It made everything so much easier. And yeah, as international students, it became a very like close-knit group. Had our first uh, beer with Eleni, Kay and Fad. From there, everyone just became really close. And the integration process was really great. And also the year above us were so inclusive at getting us all together and getting us to to meet each other and stuff so yeah I think it was very nice just being around a lot of different people best thing about studying in this like multicultural environment has been like just meeting people from all over the world learning about them and learning about their cultures and their way of being and I don't know it was like just a great experience such a enriching experience I would say having to complain I really loved it and I felt like I'm living especially when I'm talking to people from all over the class was very multicultural in our discussions people shared many experiences so we learned from from each other. What's interesting in our course is that it's not only theory that reflects multiculturalism and diversity, but also on class itself, international and oriented. So I have met people from different places in the world and they have different cultures. They have different tastes, different things in everything, which was shocking at the beginning where I was scared of the differences and the ideas that I met, things that I have never seen. This was, oh my God, a growing up experience to an extreme level and I loved it so much and I'm grateful for that. First time was a little bit scared and didn't pay attention about this situation because we have a very uh, high multicultural group. Uh, I thought uh, they might misunderstood me, misrecognized me, but I'm so happy I got a very uh, good help from all of my friends. We all are a part of everybody's uh, learning lives. So I'm very happy. 
Well, as I said before, multiculturalism and uh, internationality is something that follows me all of my life. Uh, it was really easy. It was uh, really interesting because while getting my bachelor degree, our study group had uh, a lot of people from different nationalities, so it wasn't my first experience to be with different people. And it has been super informative. I got to learn a lot of new things. I remember for the first semester, all I kept saying was that my brain was going like, Psh. like I was seeing everything in 5G because I got to learn so many new things. I tried so much new good food that I hadn't tried before. And I learned a bunch of like interesting things about cultures that I hadn't been in touch with before. So it was super, super fun. It's a very new experience for me. Like a very good friend of mine always points out, I've moved the continent. So I think starting from the fact that I live in a different place altogether and also adapting to like a different setting with so many people from various parts of the world, it was a challenge. But it was really nice because we exchanged a lot of things including food, ideas, and different ways of lifestyle. And I really like that. Yep, it was an interesting experience and I've learned to embrace it. It was very different. I feel like I learned so much from the people in the course uh, to hear perspective from people who were brought up in completely different cultures and backgrounds. I think it was really eye-opening and I think it added and enriched the course so much. I think for me, and it also has to do with my background in international relations, I really felt more connected and interested in human rights law and that aspect of human rights. I mean, I like most of the program, but especially that really resonated to see how human rights work. I developed a passion for art and art activism, art activism. So I found it interesting in this area and it's related to where I come from humanities. So I found it really interesting to work with human rights and art and humanities. My thesis is also related to those two fields. I'm coming from a place where every human right is violated. So everything I studied here was a little bit more personal to me, but then to think more about it, to be more realistic, to be more rational. I think I'm connected to women's rights uh, in everything possible. That's my thesis topic and working on women's rights, how we can achieve that in Gaza, despite the challenges, despite everything that exists there human rights uh, and multicultural area. I like the topics like uh, the decolonization of knowledge, critical discourse analysis, things were very new for me, uh, which I have not studied in my bachelor's. The topic related to human rights and multiculturalism that I think that I feel more connected and passionate about is probably human trafficking. Yeah, back in my bachelor, I've done an internship working in a shelter where the survivors of uh, human trafficking were living and I got very close to the same topic. So that's where it started. <laughs> women's oppression in Kazakhstan. I saw the real problems in Kazakhstan. This is actually the topic of my master thesis. So for me, there are two things. One is the thing that I am working on for my thesis, which I was already interested in before, and that has to do with migration because I'm also from Greece and we know that whole stuff. And the other thing was decolonization because I went to school in Greece and in Greece there wasn't a lot of discussion or we didn't learn a lot about colonization or coloniality. And those were new terms for me and I think that has been one thing that I have been looking a lot more into since we started the masters than I had ever before. So my piece is on writing about environmental justice. And I think it has been something that I've been working on for a long time, even if I came to Norway. In the Masters right now, I'm trying to figure out how environmental justice permeates into different parts of society and, and then it also to decoloniality, which has been a big part of the Masters program for me. I, think I, I would say what I'm doing for my thesis, which is racism in Japan and how racial discriminatory discourse is underpinned by Japanese colonial legacy. This specific topic that I'm doing right now has been fascinating, probably because it's a society I grew up in, and I myself found people in my immediate circle expressing some like, uh, controversial outputs. It's the topic that I chose for something that I feel most connected to because I have been exposed to it my whole life pretty much.
So as I mentioned, Indigenous rights is something that I'm really passionate about. I'm doing my thesis, Land and Indigenous Rights. But through the course, I found it really interesting being able to bring in perspectives of so many other things that I found interesting and was passionate about. So like class, uh, where I did something on like union work and that was really interesting. But then also queer rights. And I managed to bring that into Indigenous Rights, which really like opened up a massive perspective for me that I never thought of. Uh, learning about queer rights but not just through the mainstream but how it is through other cultures and non-western I think it really enriches the whole program in itself because you you get not just one viewpoint or one aspect of, of human rights and multiculturalism. You get several viewpoints from people all over the world and you can listen to what they feel about human rights and multiculturalism and how they see those issues. And so it really helps you think. That was very challenging at the beginning because we are coming from Asia and settling here. We thought this is an ideal place, but it's not. We also learned that even this human rights ideal land has many follies challenges and still they are also learning from other nations so no one is perfect that's a difficult one not because i can't answer it but because it needs so much time to narrate how this experience was so great in so many ways but i can conclude and sum up that this experience was literally a life-changing experience in so many ways Khaled last year is completely different from Khaled's now and i think it will be completely different in Khaled's in the future that because i'm in a place meeting new people every day and meeting more experienced people, different people, respecting the difference, mingling with the difference. That makes me in a process that is always changing and I'm always developing and growing and that is the best experience. I have one experience that is when I was living in uh, my uh, student apartment, I shared it with another five girls. They all were from uh, different countries. Some were from uh, Eritrea, some were from uh, Pakistan, some were from Vietnam. So through uh, talking with them, I learned about their cultures, how they see different things, their personal experience. And also I got a chance to uh, enjoy different uh, food uh, which they make so it was a very good experience and their ideas also helped me to understand certain issues their perspective was also important for me to uh, learn some things which we are studying now I think my perspective and my pers personality, like my person as a whole, changed a lot during this whole two years, both because of the things that I, I studied here, but especially, I would say, because of the people that I met who I, I don't know, I just uh, discovered so many new perspectives in this world that I'd not even know about but like I didn't even consider that were possible and um, yeah I I just appreciate a lot like living with so many interesting and wise people that have so much knowledge if I have to find an adjective to describe I would say that this is a very enriching experience for me both for my probably career or like educational wise but also from a personal point of view I think this master study will help me to find all the answers to my questions and maybe in future it helps me to find the job here in Norway, uh -huh. to find the connection with uh, other people who maybe possibly needs my help. I will keep the thing I was talking about in the first semester that my head has gone. And I think a lot about things that I wasn't thinking before. I think I'm less judgy now than I was. Not that I was judging to people's face, but I, I would think about things in a certain way that I don't anymore. And I tried to think a lot about the context. Meeting all these people has been, has been great. It's a lot of things, so picking one is a bit difficult. But I think it's the people, the friendships, and the, the things we learn. It has, it definitely has shaped me in many ways, but I think mostly in a professional setup, I now am in the process of finishing a master's. So there's a lot that I've accumulated over the years. I was able to contribute also in terms of writing and that's, that has been a lifelong dream for me. But in a personal setting, I think Norway has changed a lot for me, particularly because I've met so many people who have great impact in my life. I've met really good friends and I'd like to say also friends like family. So that has changed me forever. Academic-wise, I gained a lot of perspectives from all my friends, from all my classmates. Coming to Norway, I was not the type of person who actively wanted to like go out and interact with people. I used to be the one that always wanted to stay within my shell. But meeting people that I met here changed it in a very, very positive way. Then I really enjoyed interacting with them. That really, really was one of the major changes as a person here. Studying with them, hanging out with them, 
having a party with them. It was a milestone, made another foundation for me to live my life from now on. Firstly, it's like made me be more open to listening to people's perspectives, especially like being aware of how their background will have shaped it. And that's really changed my perspectives on things, which I found really great. Also coming from like a medical, academic medical background, but also this snowboarding background. I've never been surrounded by people who are academically interested in social sciences or humanities and that's really been so interesting to learn from everyone and with everyone's different academic background as well I feel my knowledge of interests have grown so much more from the people here <laughs> all of that it's nice so we don't have any <laughs> words specifically for bye so we just say bye salamat makik the name of our colon that prayers have been net here I Charles. <laughs> yes, look out. Yeah, no. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Matane. Bye. Thank you.